Hi guys, it is a cold day in my part of the woods and so I thought I'd warm up everybody with a book haul. So let's get started. to be a rather long book haul so uh, be prepared this is 30 plus books and I have received these in the course of a couple of months and I am going to start with the oddball books uh, books that I have got through a sub box uh, review and through a friend of mine uh, so let's start with the book that I got through a friend of mine that I am borrowing uh, and you've seen this in the page 112 book tag, and this is the book that the author friend gave me to read about the Civil War and its judgment at Apotomax, and this is by Ralph Peters. The next book I have received uh, an arc of, and it's Dean Kuhn's book, and it's the second book in the Jane Hawk series, and it is The Whispering Room, the first book being Silent Corner which came out six months ago, and I really love that. This book, however, took me 150 pages to really get into, and then once I did get into it and, and enjoyed it, I did not want to put it down, nor did I want to finish reading it. I actually prolonged reading this book because of that. But I received this through a um, member uh, group that I am involved with in Goodreads. It's a Dean Coons book club, and we try to read every Dean Coons book, and we do read Dean Coons book each month. But I don't always participate in that because the books they chose I have already read. We do a contest for each new Dean Koontz books that come out and I did not win the contest but however Random House wanted everybody in the group to receive a free arc and so I got the book that way. The next book is through my uppercase subscription box and it's the young adult fantasy novel that you've also seen on my 112 page book tag and it is Livia Blackburn's Rosemark and it is signed and I will show you the signature the signature is right there the next set of books comes from my VJ Books at Button Club and uh, the first two being uh, Brandon Sanderson and this is the third book and it's from my archive I cannot wait to start reading this and this is Oathbringer. I just absolutely love the cover of that. And the end papers are actually quite gorgeous this time around. But I will show you his signature. And he does have kind of a weird signature. The next one is the last book and the Alcatraz versus the Evil Librarians. And this is Dark Talent by Brandon Sanderson. Another book I cannot wait to start to read and finish the series. And again, this is a signed copy. The next book is uh, Stephen King's newest one with his son Owen King and it's Sleeping Beauties. I cannot wait to get into this. And it is signed, but however not by Stephen King, but by Owen King. And I don't think I'll ever get the chance to meet Stephen King, but if I do, I will bring this book so I can have it double signed. Uh, but this is Owen King's signature. The next one is the other book you've seen in the 112 page book tag and it's Sue Grafton's Why. And I didn't get into the series until the one previously but I thankfully found out you do not have to read them all in order. But I did want to try to get more of the books in the series because I ended up liking this. Uh, this book took a while to get in uh, for me to get it because she had to cancel her uh, signing tour. But however, she agreed to sign books for VJ Books, so they sent them by mail, so it took a little bit long time to get the book to me. Uh, but this is her signature, Sue Grafton. Excited to get into this one. The next few books that I'm going to show you, I recently purchased at a library sale back in October. And I did put, get quite a few books there. I got 20 books, and it's $5 a bag, so I had two bags, and basically paid 50 cents for a all the books. Six books, however, I'm not going to show you here as they are already at my aunt's as they were gifts to my aunt. Uh, but I will show you uh, the rest of these books here. 
And we'll start with the young adult books that I got. This one I saw basically before the cover, and in fact it does have to do with some uh, Charles Darwin. And this is Charles and Emma, The Darwin Sleep of Faith, and it's by Deborah Heigelman. I don't know anything about it, but like I said, I really like the cover, and I do like the back here. And if I do like it, I will try to get a better copy of that. Uh, but for 50 cents, I kind of pass it up. Another one was a cover by, and there's nothing wrong with this book, and it's A Nightmare Shrade by Mindy Arnett. The next one, I have read a lot of Rochelle Mead's books, and I have wanted to get this for a long time, and it's The Glittering Court by Rochelle Mead. Again, a lot of these are not in the greatest copies uh, because it is a library sale. Uh, so some of them are withdrawn books and, of course, stamped. Uh, so they're not going to be that great. And again, this is another one I really got for the uh, cover. But I do like Sarah Reeves Brennan. I've read uh, a few of her books, but this is Unspoken. Uh, again, this one I have seen on YouTube for quite a while. Uh, this Again, was not a cover by, but something I have been wanting to read, and I have just not picked it up. And this is by Megan Shepherd, The Mad Man's Daughter. The next book's been out for a while now, and it's been hyped about on YouTube for ever since its first publication. And I have wanted to get into it, but I have not. I've heard nothing but good things about it. And this is The Night Circus by Aaron Morgenstein. And I can finally, no pun intended, get and finish the last book in the Hush Hush series by Becca Fitzpatrick, and it is called Finale. Finally, for the adult section of the library sale hall, I did get the Dark Days Club, and it is a novel by Allison Goodman. I do have Aeon and Iona, and I really like those books, so I cannot wait to see what this has in store for me. The next few are science fiction and fantasy books, and some of these I have never heard of before. And again, some of these are not in the best condition, being a library book sale, but if I do end up liking them, I will probably find a better finished copy of them. Uh, the first one is by Ian M. Banks. I've never heard of him before, but he's been a New York Times bestselling author before. And this is the Hydrogen Sonata, and I absolutely love that cover. The next one was a cover by, again, and it's by Ian McDonald and it's Brazil. The next one is the young adult uh, science fiction fantasy book, and again, a cover by, it's by Ava Bobson, and it's the star of Kazan, and it's also illustrated. And again, if I like this, I will probably buy a better finished copy. And finally, a cover by, again, is Twist by Karen Atkins. The next three books are Civil War related. I have went into the library so with a purpose of finding some Civil War books and a few other books in mind, and I did find some Civil War history books. The first one being Grant Rises in the West, and it's from Ilka to Vicksburg, 1862 to 1863, and it's by Kenneth P. Williams with an introduction by Brooks D. Simpson. Cannot wait to get started into this. The next one uh, is not all about the Civil War, but it dates uh, from 1848 to 1877, so it does take time and place during the Civil War, uh, but it's a static nation, confidence, crisis, and compromise, 1848 to 1877, by Brendan Wynapple. Again, not the best condition of copy, but if I uh, do like it, I will try to find a better copy of this book. And the final... Uh, Civil War book, again, not the best conditions, but if I do like it, I will try to find a better copy. It is Upon the Altar of the Nation, A Moral History of the Civil War, and it's by Harry S. Stout. The last book that I got from the library sale back in October is The Thurber Carnival, and it's by James Thurber, and the text and pictures are by him, and some of the uh, illustrations are goofy. I cannot wait to get into this as well. The next few books uh, are books I have bought from Barnes & Noble while book shopping for somebody else here on YouTube that we always do a gift exchange every year. Uh, the first two being Philippa Gregory. She has gotten me Philippa Gregory books last year at our gift exchange and I really enjoyed books by this author and I have read another book by her. And this is the newest one that came out and it's Philippa Gregory's The Last Tutor and this is a Barnes & Noble exclusive.
cannot wait to get into this as well. All these books I cannot wait to get into. The next one is also a Philippa Gregory and it's Three Sisters, Three Queens. I went through his three section and I picked up 1861, The Civil War Awakening, and it's by Adam Goodhart. And then I went in the mystery section and I got some Agatha Christie novels. Uh, the first I have already seen the movie to this, and it's a Cure Perilla novel, and it's The Big Four. This is Crooked House. This was mentioned on paperbacks from hell, and I bought this even before I read that book. Uh, so I cannot wait to get into this one as well as all of these books, obviously. The next one is not by Agatha Christie, uh, but it's a new Hikuru Perot mystery, which I don't understand how there is a new Hikuru Perot mystery because he died in Agatha Christie's last book. Uh, but this is by Sophie Hanna, and it's the monogram murder. So I will give this a try to see how. She compares uh, to Agatha Christie, see if Hercule Perot is the same, written uh, by uh, Sophie as it is written by Agatha Christie, so we'll see. The last few books I got are from a recent library book sale uh, that was held on the first of this month. They had a lot of events going on for Christmas on that day, including the library book sale. Uh, the first two are old copies of uh, books, and uh, this one has nothing but Edgar Allan Poe stories. I've already read all the stories in here, as I have a book already that has nothing but Edgar Allan Poe's works, and it has all of his works in it, and so it's nice to have a different edition, a school copy edition, and it's World's Greatest Literature, Tales, A Mystery, and Imagination by Poe. Uh, the next one, I do not know why I have not read the book before, and it's a wonderful, uh, really nice copy, I mean of course it's battered, but there's illustrations throughout the book, and it's a copy of Louisa May Alcott's uh, Little Woman. The next one was sort of a one buy like some of these were, uh, that I got at the library book sale, but I could not pass this up because I did take uh, piano for eight years, and I did learn uh, classical music, and this is Music in the Baroque Era, and it's by Manfred E. Bookauser. Keeping up with uh, the tutors, I have uh, two tutor books. Uh, the first one being the complete story of England's most notorious dynasty, the Tudors, and it's by G. J. Meyer. And I seen this one as I was about ready to leave, and I snatched it up before anybody else could. And then I seen this again. It's a cover buy, but it, I'm interested in it, and it's uh, about Queen Elizabeth the first. And it is the Pirate Queen, Queen Elizabeth I, her Pirate Adventure and the Dawn of Empire. And this is by Susan Ronald, and I cannot wait to get into this. And I really love the cover, and I will, uh, of course, find a better copy of this once I finish this, because I'm sure I will enjoy this one. And finally, this huge book here, uh, keeping up with me, wanting to learn more and more about the Civil War. Uh, this is John Jenks, uh, The Kent Family Chronicles, North and South. So that's it. This is my 30 plus book haul, and I know it's a long video. Sorry for that. I uh, hope you have enjoyed this video, and please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see everybody later, and if I don't make a video before Christmas, hope everybody has a wonderful Christmas.